He's the founder of an antisocial behaviour charity called Mancunian Way. Uh, Nick Buckley, thanks very much indeed for talking to us. Now, um, according to the copy of the report that's been leaked to Sky News, there are a number of factors that the, uh, the authors are highlighting. A, a complex mixture from lack of opportunities for young people. They also talk about the possibility of poor parenting in some cases, uh, concerns about materiali materialism as well as a lack of confidence in policing. A number of different areas they've highlighted. Do you think they've got it about right? Yeah, um, it's not as, as simple as some of the headlines we've heard today. Um, you know, parenting opportunities. Well, they are legitimate complaints. Um, opportunities. I mean, we, we need to realise as well. You know, what a great country we live in. We have people coming from all over the world. You know, sneaking into the country, crossing deserts, risking their lives, crossing the Mediterranean Sea to get here because of the opportunities. So when people say there's no opportunities for people here, no opportunities for young people, it, it's not completely true. There is opportunities, but sometimes we just need to get up and take those opportunities ourselves. And some people do need help with that. Well, yes, and I think you've worked with a number of people that were involved in the riots in your area. What have they said to you about why they got involved? We got quite a few phone calls um, during the afternoon from young people um, that we've been working with previously who said, we are going to Manchester City Centre this evening. We are hoping there's going to be riots. And we tried to talk them out of it. Some people it worked, some people didn't. But the ones who did go down to the city centre, we asked them, why, why are you going? You're going to get yourself into trouble. You potentially can get arrested. And their answers were, this is going to be a once in a lifetime opportunity to have some real fun. They weren't necessarily going down to riots. They didn't say, I want a new TV, I want some new trainers. They were basically saying, I want some excitement and some fun. And that's why we're going down to see what happens tonight. Well, yes, but so what does that tell us? I mean, is there something, something wrong with our society where it's people's idea of fun to, to, to go and get involved, practically steal some stuff, smash, smash up shops? What's gone wrong? There is something wrong with our society, and it started many, many decades ago, and it's all about me. Our society now is me. What can I do? What can I get? My rights are more important than your rights. We have rules, we have laws in this country, but I will choose which ones I want to follow, which ones I want to disregard. It's all about me. And materialism is part of that as well. We live in a society now where I am the most important person in this community, in this society, and I have human rights, and mine outweigh everybody else's. And that's about the riots, it's about everything. It's about people who abuse blue badges for disabled parking, it's about people throwing litter on the floor. It covers the whole of society, not just young people, not just inner city people, everybody. And we're all chipping away, and we have been for decades now, chipping away at communities slowly. Well yes, and uh, presumably it's going to be toughest if there's an atmosphere of, of consumerism and, and heavy marketing of goods and, and people wanting to, to have the latest gadgets. It's going to be toughest for those who are the poorest, isn't it? And this report talks about uh, 500,000 forgotten families who are bumping along the bottom of society. Uh, presumably that's where uh, the focus of attention needs to be. It does, um, but I don't like the phrase forgotten families because again, it puts the onus on others. I've forgotten somebody. I've not forgotten these families. I, I've not let them down. Majority of cases, they've let themselves down and we need to put some responsibility back onto them. And we do need to help them. I mean, we need support out there. And, you know, 500 million families, that sounds about right to me. And we need intervention in them. And it's about education. You know, we're, like, we're failing lots and lots of our young people with education. We need to get into some of these families because they've got drug and alcohol problems. But we should do it in a way where we say to them, we're going to offer you this help, but you need to do your part of it as well. I don't want people thinking that we fail these families because we haven't. So what kind of action do you think needs to be done to make sure that riots like that don't happen again? Early intervention. Early intervention and prevention. If we think we're going to spend a couple of billion pounds now fixing some 18, 19 year olds, then let's, we're not. We need to look at the next generation coming up. We need to be working with families who've got toddlers, families who've got eight, nine year olds, we need to make them sure they're going to school, they're getting a good education, that they've got role models in their lives, that their role models aren't so-called gangsters. Um, you know, we're making sure they've got positive role models and showing them the type of life they can have in our society. At the moment, it's too easy for people to just drop out and to say to themselves, do you know what? I don't want a job. 
and the sign on, I might sell a little bit of weed on the side, I might do some copy DVDs, and I'll have a pretty good life on that. That should never be an option. We should show them a different way of life that they can aspire to. And they may not reach that, but we all need dreams. I had dreams when I was a child. We have a lot of young people now who will say, I have no dreams, there's nothing I want to aspire to. And that's the sad bit, and that's what we need to break. We need to make, we need people with dreams and aspirations in our society. Nick Buckley, very interesting to uh, discuss this report with you. Thanks very much indeed for talking to us, uh, Darren Manchester. You're welcome. Thank you. Let's get a bit more on our top story now, because uh, we've been